Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Sunday. This is uh, take two of this intro video. I don't know where the first one went to, but here we are again. Um, I just wanted to uh, take a few minutes and show you a new knife that I got. Uh, it's actually a French knife, and I've never owned a French knife except for an Oppenel. So I was curious about what this might be like. And uh, I bought this over at knivesoffrance.com. So if you haven't checked out their site, you might want to. They've got some really cool French knives over there. Uh, and then uh, their shop is located in Texas. So um, I got my uh, order pretty quickly, shipped the same day, and had it a few days later. So anyway, let's take a look uh, at this uh, new knife and uh, see what you think. All right, so let's open the blade up and take a closer look at it. So you can see uh, made in France, um, and I'll, I'm sure I'll butcher this, but uh, by Le Sabot. And you see the XC75 on the Tang stamp there. Really nice uh, carbon steel blade, and I think I mentioned, but carbon steel bolsters as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this guy ages over time. Uh, and then it's got a, uh, a sheep's foot shake blade on it, which I really like. Nice little nail nick right there. And then I don't really know if you would call those threaded bolsters or what you would call those, but uh, they're pretty, as you can see there. Brass pins. And uh, she has plenty of snap to her. See, as you could tell there. Look at the thickness of that blade, too. It's like twice as thick as my Barlow, or maybe a little bit more. It's got a massive back spring on it. With the steel liners there. A little bit of gapping. But uh, overall, I mean, I really like the knife. The one thing I will say is when you go to open it this way, you know, that's a, that's a little bit, a little bit stiff and rough right there. Uh, but uh, solid built for sure. As a matter of fact, I actually reached out um, to the company to ask if that's how all these knives are or if I just happened to get one that maybe um, wasn't quite up to par with uh, what they usually sell and uh, got a response back just in the, really quickly, which I appreciated. And uh, he basically said that um, these are meant to be work knives. It's the classic farm worker knife. Uh, and because of that, you know, they, uh, build these rough and tough but they don't worry tons about you know if everything's the finish is perfectly smooth everywhere um they're really made to be used and you know so that's one thing it's kind of got its own appeal to it though in a way so i don't know if it's really a negative or not it's just the way um these knives are now uh, what else can i tell you um it is a slip joint and one unique thing about it is um, it, there's no um, kick and the tip rests on uh, the back spring, which means you can do a lot of sharpening to this blade without um, the tip overhanging out of the handle once you close it down. So you've seen knives with a, a proud tip uh, where they've been sharpened a lot and the, and the um, the tang of the knife or the kick of the knife uh, is holding it open a bit more than what you would want. Um, so that uh, tip kind of sticks up. So call that a proud tip. Anyway, uh, that knife doesn't have that problem. Um, the blade itself is just under three inches. Uh, 2.95 is what their website gives. Uh, the handle is 3.74. Um, handle thickness is just a tad over a half inch. 
0.51 and it weighs uh, 2.6 ounces. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, it is sharp, sharp, sharp uh, when I got that. Got a really nice edge on the blade. I don't know if you can see that real well, but um, definitely did a good job with the grind on it, uh, which I do appreciate. And then this knife comes in a bunch of different handle styles too. So they've got like a, I think it's roidoid. Um, there's a barrel horn. Uh, there's a boxwood. Um, so lots of different um, handle material for that knife. Uh, they run uh, $59 on their website and uh, they are shipped out of Texas. So anyway, I think that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to show this one off before I head off to church and I hope you guys have a great Sunday and as always, thanks for watching and God bless you. We'll see you in the next video.